Hey everybody, this is a tutorial on how to set up the Bedrock Connect software locally on your computer. If you haven't already, I recommend watching the videos I uploaded before that shows you how to join Minecraft Bedrock Edition servers using my public DNS, which is a faster method. If the public DNS server didn't work for you though, or you're just curious on getting this software running locally on your network, then this video will show you how to get the same result as those videos but without depending on the public DNS. First thing you're going to do is download the Bedrock Connect software from my GitHub page. Be sure to download the Bedrock Connect setup.zip one. Next thing you're going to want to download is something I'm not even going to try to pronounce, but it's basically the DNS server that we will use to get our consoles to connect to our Bedrock Connect server list. Next you're going to want to extract the Bedrock setup zip and then install the DNS server. Now launch the DNS server and click Start Server. If your computer is how mine was, you'll get the following error. If you didn't get this error and it successfully started up, you can skip to the time frame listed on the screen. If you got the same error that I did, continue watching. In order to fix the issue, on your keyboard, click Windows key and R at the same time. This will bring up the run menu, and you then need to type CMD into the box, but don't hit OK. Instead, push the keys Control, Shift, and Enter. This will open the command prompt in administrator mode. You're then going to want to go back to the Bedrock Setup folder and open the README text file. Copy the line as shown on screen. And then paste the line into command prompt and hit Enter. You will then need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Once your computer is back up, run the DNS server again. It should now be working. Stop the DNS server and open the Bedrock Connect setup folder again and execute run.bat. It will probably give you a warning only because the software is not officially licensed. Just hit more info and the option turn anyway should show up. Next, you're going to want to enter a local IPv4 address into the program. The program automatically lists available IPv4 addresses on your computer. In your case, there will probably only be one listed. If not, you should enter the one that starts with 192. The Bedrock Connect server list should now be running. Go back to the Bedrock Connect setup folder and there should now be a bc underscore dns dot com file in the folder. We are going to load this file into our DNS server. This will have to be done every time you start up the setup. Now click Start Server. This completes the setup of the required programs. Now that both are running, you should now be able to connect to the DNS server on your game console, allowing you to enter the serverless server through the Featured Server section. This will be done just like my first videos, but instead of entering the IP starting with 104 as the primary DNS address, you're going to want to use your IPv4 address, same one we just put into the Bedrock Connect program, the one that probably starts with 192. It should be noted that your game console should be running on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer, as this is only running locally, so it needs to be running on the same network. For this tutorial, I'll be using my Nintendo Switch to demonstrate. As mentioned before, if you're on Xbox, you can follow my older Xbox tutorial and just replace the primary DNS address starting with 104 with your local IPv4 address.
And that concludes the tutorial. If it didn't work for you, rewind the video and make sure all steps were done correctly. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I hope you get some use out of the software and video.